Good morning, DJ. Where are you going? <laughs> Good morning. 6 a.m. in the morning. Time for breakfast. Good morning, my love. I'm going to be boss. I'm going to be boss here by the day, by the minute. I'm going to go down. And Fiji is ready. He's super ready. He's uh, the one who woke up we're, first we're. because he sleep early last night. Good job. Oh, Did more. No, no. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck in the DJ, where are you going? I like your cars. Wow. He loves that cars, doesn't he? Bam, bam. Oh no, oh. we're in the house. Oops, ground floor. Basement. Garage. We have super early morning and the brook was not even open. So early. Nobody's in there. Didn't you start opening yet? Uh, inside? Mm -hmm. They have people? Please. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's somebody in there, but we got another 30 minutes or so before uh, for breakfast. So let's go back up and come back down. Super exciting day today. Really, really excited about uh, getting on the plane, showing up in Bohol. I hope for the weather is just beautiful. That would just make the day, right, baby? Yeah. I was taking your reflection. On. Wow, there he goes. Hello, who's awake? Oh well, we're early. We're pretty early. And the two girls still knocked out. They played hard yesterday. Hard. Oh, I took them to get Jollibee last night at 8 o'clock. Oh. oh my goodness, they were all I was late. down. I was so tired. And then what happened? They were sold out of spaghetti, of course, out of stock. Oh. Happens all the time here in the Philippines. So we ended up getting some Burger King with uh, chicken nuggets. And they were just all over the place in the mall. I'm like, guys, calm down. So I don't know if the excitement of going to a hole, oh, if the sugar, what was the deal? TJ, shut the lights off on me right now. Bam! There you go. TJ likes buttons today. The button man. Huh? Wake up your sister. All right. Wait for ready for some good granola yogurt fruit breakfast. Wow! And you beef tapa, baby? Beef tapa, yes. <laughs> beef tapa. Products and habits. So TJ, you like the buttons. Oh, here we go. We're here. So we forgot that TJ likes to watch cars while we're eating, right, TJ? Good job. We hit the ground floor. High five. High five, me. Hey, don't leave me hanging, dude. No, 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 no. It's garage again. High five. Yes. Okay. We. I don't know what we're saying. Keep going to the garage because he keeps pushing the button. And TJ, that's enough ground. Yep. Okay. Good job. So we brought the camera so that TJ can watch cars while we're eating, right? Yeah. You want to watch cars and trucks while we're eating? Cars and trucks. Cars and trucks. Cool. Okay. okay. All right. Let's roll. And bye bye, Cagayan de Oro. Hello, Bohol. Actually, it's hello breakfast. <laughs> You want to push it open, the door? Okay, you, you do it. Push the door. Push. Here we go. That's better? All right, then hold the hand and do it. What is it? No. So ready for you, TJ. Uh, what you got? I got mango. That is her absolute favorite. I'm going to take the seed. <laughs> but look at that fresh Filipino mango. Sure. I'll cut it up. Yeah. This is how you eat this. I love the fruit granola yogurt here. Check this out. Dude, what I love more is their, their little plates that they have. It's like a thin style cutting board. They put a lot of marked uh, branded wax paper on it. It's really awesome. Put a little bit of yogurt and some granola, the fruit, to start the morning off. Yes. And then standard beef tapa. Again. And Marshall going to get a corn oh, yeah. corn. <laughs> bon appetit. And that was a great breakfast. Empty, empty, and empty. Mmm. Yummy. We got a one hour countdown and head to. Oh, what are you doing? There's a silly goose that had some natural sugar this morning. Let's go. Mikey just said TJ is so heavy, and yes, he is. He's a little rock man. All right, let's go up to floor eight, get our stuff ready to go so we can roll out. This guy, come on. Who's that? Oh, he missed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, my dude. He missed me. Bye. Love, love, daddy. Oh, you feel good now? Okay. Now, too. It's so sweet. It's time to brush the teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Batalia. My name is Munta. Kalimera. What are you No. No, no. Brush your teeth with your brother. Brush your teeth too. Brush the teeth. Teeth, teeth, teeth. We're checking out. Good morning and goodbye, Kagayan. Let's go, Grant. Big street, big cars, big traffic. 
Just that way. All right, Tito, just that way, just that way. Traffic director. Okay. We're gonna be taking the shuttle bus this morning to the airport. This is Miss Famous, the famous, the infamous. Thank you very much, thank you. On voyage, on the way to the airport, guys. The two boys in the front seat, Daddy with TJ, and Mama with the three bucket. <laughs> See you, Tita Lula. Right here. Does Luna and Luna and Tita miss us? Here Micah goes again, being so organized, she puts all the little boarding passes in the passports. So awesome. Good job, V. On the board. On the board again. On the board. On the board again. Bye, DJ. Bye. Look, he's over here busy like this. But he's busy for, oh. I found this coin on here, and I found it on the road, and I can hear Oh look at your look at the stuff like right here love. Oh good job, you got it all set up for See you in the hall. Did you see you in Bohol? No. Made it back to Bohol. Now welcome Tito in Bohol. This guy is so knocked out. Are you excited to go in the house? <laughs> and what? We made it! Yay! Did we make it? What? Mars's first flight ever? Yeah, first flight. What's up? He made it. It was like, it was like the fastest flight in yeah. history. It felt like, like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I know. That was like a 10 minute flight, TJ. Yeah. It was a good boy. Good job. Yeah. Jose did good. Yeah. Tina did pretty good. Tina was the Samuka brother a little bit, but pretty good. Yep. All right. And hold the hand, Daddy. All right. Let's get a ride and get to the house. Bohol Airport. I'm so passed out. Oh wow! TJ, welcome back to Bohol! Yeah. No, no! Go home! Welcome back to Bohol, my love! Girls, what are you guys doing there? Alright, we're in the van on the way to the house. First time is gonna be awesome. I mean, first time to like be there and so super close to the airport, not far from Tagbalaran or the hot beaches. Let's go check it out. And we met it here. Alright, guys, here we are. You seen the other side of the gate? But I'm gonna show you what's on this side of the gate. Let's start with uh, just the front of house here. We're so glad to be here in Bohol, Philippines, the place where we. I don't know say fell in love, but you know, and uh, the place we love to be. So anyway, here's a little front yard area. I'll start with that. Thank goodness that gardening is cheap here in the Philippines. It's about, to keep up all this is about $7 a week, maybe. Probably about $7 a week. So that's uh, $14, $28, 30 bucks a month. But it's quite a bit of upkeep. But in the US, I don't know what it would cost, but quite a bit. Let's just go around outside first, huh? Little V was like, he don't want to let me go. I think it's because we're in a new place. So he's very attached. There's just some little small plants a little bit everywhere around here with a covered area up top for if we can ever get a vehicle. That's where a good spot to park would be. Or down this alley way there's another covered area down here and you know that's where a pool belongs but too dangerous having a pool when you got young kids really really dangerous that's like in one minute they can fall in the water so no pool yet but that's where it belongs you see that's the back door that comes out to the back area place where you can have a dirty kitchen that's where the bulad will be cooked and you'll see me cooking bulad uh, sometime real soon bulad's cooked right there right right dong yep and then Washing machine, go out here, and then that could be like a family member's room or maid's quarters. And the tank area with the water pump, and then the side of the house where it goes around to the front yard there. So, now it's time for the inside of the house. Are you ready? Ready, little V? I'm gonna show him inside because he's not comfortable yet. Let's see if we can go in the front door. The best part is probably this part. When you first walk in the house, besides the door getting stuck a little bit, is... Ta -da! It's a little dark in here. There's some tint on these windows, but my goodness, look at these windows. Whoa, 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 yep, it keeps going and going. You don't know if you can see the sheer height of that, but this room is probably about 20, 20 foot. I'm ceiling in, in this room, which is just the main area. It goes out to the side right here, and then you can see up all the way up there. Big, huge window, super awesome. Second favorite part of the house, right here. 
a nice cool area off to the side for sitting, dinner, family time. That's the area that we just were walking around the back of the house, right? Dong. Mm -hmm. So let's go back in here. It's a little bit hot. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon here right now, so it's warm. What are we gonna do first? Mm -hmm. Let's go sit around. This is the little middle room that's gonna be our bedroom. I hear somebody in here, I think they're under the bed. We have little <laughs> split units, split units um, up top. Those are super convenient. So we like having those in each room if you want a little bit of air con. But being nice and cool with the breeze, it's, we're gonna try to live with a lot, without a lot of air con, right? Like I says, chill But just get a little sweat, a little used to it, and uh, you know, not, not really sweat it. <laughs> so this is the room that will end up being our closet room. Being six of us, we have a big closet. If you've been part of the V family for a while, you've seen our closet back in the States, which will eventually be here. So that'll be this room. And Micah's favorite area because she uh, likes we'll to organize share. and share for now. <laughs> <laughs> There's some shoes, 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 shoes. And then can you show them where your dresses are going to be, baby? They're probably right here. Dresses <laughs> in there. And then the little vanity area over here, which is like, is that what they call that? Your makeup vanity? Yep. We're going to do makeup right, right there and talk to the blogging makeup thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our house. Hello. And then this is a little bathroom. The one unfortunate thing is there's no bathtubs. Yep. So in Blingasag we have that nice huge bathtub. It's so awesome. We're, We're gonna miss it. Then. But maybe it'll it'll turn into our area outside or something in the future. Who knows? But there's a little permit shower area. Simple shower. Again, they do the split unit heaters here in the Philippines. You don't like keep water hot. You just use it when you need it and it produces a little heat on point. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to move our stuff already. So much stuff. We got stuff in the apartment here. We got stuff from the U.S. So a lot of stuff to come to be here. Uh, we went to that room already and this will be the playroom. You can't, now you can see how tall the ceilings are because you can see a little, Mike is short, but she's not that short. That's a huge <laughs> ceiling. TJ, what do you think? You got something? Echo. All right, and in this room, this will be like the playroom indoor. Hopefully they can play outside more than anything, but in the meantime, the uh, playroom I will be inside when it's too hot during the day, which hopefully we're sleeping. It's the best time of sleep. What we have left is the bathroom and kitchen. Just the bathroom and kitchen right here. So we got a, a kitchen that's fairly modest size. A few cabinet, cabinetry areas lower, unfortunately. We're gonna put some locks on those because the kiddos, that's for sure. And a little bit of upper storage there. And then the simple sink, like typical Philippines. Simple sink above standard size refrigerator uh, in the Philippines. We have a standard also that who knows what we'll do with. So the other restroom is very similar to the other one. No bathtub. <laughs> but shower, shower, shower time. All right, don't. Yeah, right. he's camera shy. <laughs> Can't be be family camera shy, dude. Now you're looking like, who is that? It's a little V and Daddy. Huh? It's a little V and Daddy in there. Well, honey, I showed him just about everything, including the outside there. I did. We popped out there because it was my second favorite. First favorite was this being this huge room. Yeah. Second favorite being the outside area. Echo. Uh, so it's not not a huge place, but it's adequate for us. We're I mean super happy, super blessed. Yeah. We're still um, gonna we're still gonna sleep together. Definitely. <laughs> Is it me and you? I mean, all of us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Nothing changed. It's just... We lost one room. Because we had some right. square feet. Just... We had in garage. So we lost some, lost some square what? footage and stuff, but a fair trade for having family and cost of living and lots of other things here that, yep. So that's our house tour. And yeah. See you we'll later see. tonight or our next vlog. We'll see you in our next vlog. Babush.